I'll come up and. People are still coming. Uh, Bukanaz, everybody gets here late, but we're going to go ahead and start the service. Um, today is our praise and worship service and um, celebration for Pastor Tom and Carrie as they get ready to move to Kahalui Church of the Nazarene to serve as lead pastors. And so we want to, yay, we're going to miss them. We want to celebrate uh, their service to Bukanaz and celebrate this new chapter in their life. And um, we're excited. And so uh, we're just glad that you guys are here. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you, Lord. We thank you for your love for us. Lord, we just thank you that um, you're a God who's active in our lives, Lord, that you're always working. Even uh, when we can't see what you're doing, you're always working. Lord, we just thank you for Tom and Carrie. We just ask that you bless this day. Lord, we ask that you bless them. Um, Lord, we just ask that you bless this service. Uh, be with those that are here, be with those that are coming, give them safe travels, and be with those that uh, are ill or won't make it today. Lord, we just love you, we need you, uh, we want your spirit, we just pray, praise you in your heavenly name, amen. Amen. The first song we're going to sing this morning is Better Is One Day. How lovely will that place be? Do you long for that place? Do you understand that that is your home? This yeah. is only temporal. Amen. Better is one day in the house of the Lord than to be walking amongst the sinners. But we aren't just sinners. We are saved by grace. Amen. Which means we are transformed and we are new creation. We are in the likeness of Jesus. So would you stand with us this morning? Yeah. As the whole, we invite the Holy Spirit to come and join us this morning. Wake up, you sleepy heads. <laughs> <laughs> that is a song, wake come up. On. You know, it's a new one that's come out. Um, and I like it, wake up, you sleepy heads. But... It says in there, one day is going to be better. So Holy Spirit, you come and you join us this morning in this celebration for Tom and Carrie. Would you bless them beyond their imagination and the people that they are going to touch at the Kahalui Church? Okay, stand with us, would you, and sing. Better is one day. I gave you some papers if you can't see the board. I can't go all the way right front of us.
day in your courts. Better is one day in your house. Better is one day in your courts than thousands elsewhere. Better is one day in your courts. Better is one day in your house. Better is one day in your courts than thousands elsewhere. Jesus sits at the right hand, and all the elders and all the creation bow before you, saying, Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. One day, we will be there. Amen. Hallelujah. But it's your choice. Lord, I <coughs> am so excited to see what your glory stands for. It says streets of gold. It says things are of an emerald. But Lord, it cannot compare to the glory and the grace that you are. You never let go of us. And I'm so glad. But you also tell us that we must do our part and we must seek your face. That we must come before you and bow. And we must surrender everything we have. And we turn from our ways and look for you in everything. Lord, I pray for our country. I pray for the Christian the Christians this year like never before, Lord, because I believe without a shadow of a doubt you are in the midst. You are moving, God. This is a time for miracles. You want to unleash your power. Let us be your children to see that. We're never alone. You go before us. You divide the waters. And I believe this is a time that we're, you're sifting. <laughs> Even though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, you're perfect. Your love casts out all fear. 365 times in the Bible it says, do not fear. And I believe that because he is on the throne. of the shadow of death and perfect love is casting out fear in the heart in the middle of the storms of this life I won't turn back I won't be on here I will be no evil oh my God is with Our God is with me. Whom then shall I fear? Whom then shall I fear? No, never let go. Through the storm, oh no, you never let go. Every high and every low, no, you never let go. Lord, you never let go of me. that holds on a glorious light beyond all compare to these troubles but until that day comes I know you here on the earth for my God is with My God is with me. Whom then shall I fear? Whom then shall I fear? No, he never let go through the calm and through the storm. Oh no, he never let go. Every high and every low. No, he never let go. Lord, you never let go of me. Thank you. 
light that is coming for the heart that holds on. There'll be an end to these troubles, but until that day comes, still I will praise you, still I will praise you. never let go through the calm and through the storm oh no he never let go in every high and every low oh no he never let go lord you never let go of me aren't you glad he never lets go and we're not promised perfect days but we are promised that he's with us aren't you so glad holy spirit Please join us this morning. Yes, Jesus. <coughs> we just ask that you just come. Come, Father. Just come. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Thank you, Pittsburgh Band. And um, today is Praise and Worship Sunday, as you guys know. So we're going to be changing out our bands every couple of songs. So thank you so much, you guys. And um, while our next band coming up is Ion Band, while you guys are getting ready, um, we're going to open up for a few minutes to answer the question, how has Pastor Tom <coughs> and Auntie Perry and their ministry, how, have, how has... It blessed your life. How has it changed your life? How? What are things you're going to remember? Um, they're not going anywhere. They're not leaving Maui. We're going to see them. But now is a great time to tell them what you do matters. Okay? And it's easy for those of us in ministry, for those of us in leadership, it's easy to forget, you know, the joy of it. We get so, like, into what we're doing and we get distracted by the frustrations. And so... Today we want to um, just remind Pastor Tom and Auntie Carrie that you matter and your ministry matters. So it, does anyone like to, um, would anyone like to share for um, a minute or two while the band gets up? How has Pastor Tom and Auntie Carrie blessed you or blessed your life or you've seen their ministry blessing others? Oh, Dad. Um... Tom, Terry, it's amazing. Uh, for me, I was blessed to know him because of our age. <laughs> and the things that he has taught me, most of all, I can remember when I was struggling with a few things. And, you know, the thing that I felt in his voice and what he was sharing with me was hope and you know hanging on and keeping the faith um, I'm not one to take anything from anyone especially their, their words I'm one that I, I will learn on my own or experience myself and so forth but I, I, I felt Pastor Tom was true in everything he says, and and I've seen it, especially with the Kihei ministry, when he took that over, it's just amazing. Because um, you got to put yourself out there. I mean, literally out there. You know, it's not a comfort zone for you. It's an unexpected zone. And you got to be prepared for everything. And that's what I love about Pastor Tom. Whatever came, he grabbed it by the horn and he went with it and he took it and he tamed it and he loved it and it's just amazing how I see what I see and where he's going. It's all God's doing, spirit led, and he's just following. So I'm just thankful for being a part and being a witness to all that. Mahalo, my brother. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? We have time for maybe one more before our band starts. Yes. I've uh, been out to the Kihei ministry a couple of times too myself. 
and for a man who's been a pastor of the church for a number of years, to be able to step, I want to say step down, but it's not a step down, not according to God, we're all equal, but to be able to go from that, being a pastor of a church, to working with people on the streets, takes humility, folks. <laughs> that takes humility to be able to do that and go where God has called you. And it takes a willingness to listen to what God has called you to. Um, he's no Jonah. He didn't go the opposite direction. He went the way God told him to go. And uh, I remember we went out to one table, and the guy was talking about the reason that aliens are come. They want the gold in the air. <laughs> and, we, and we were patient, and we listened to this guy and all, and didn't, didn't say a whole lot to him, but just listened to him and just loved him. And one thing I realized, it wasn't about Mosavi, and it wasn't about water. It's about loving those people and coming down to their level and talking to them on the ground one-to-one, eye-to-eye. And he did gain some respect out there after a while. Maybe he didn't get it at first, but I remember going up to a table where there was Crown Royal in the middle of the table. There was a 12-pack on the side on the ground. Everybody had an open beer, and we were there 30 minutes. I checked my watch. We were there 30 minutes, and nobody took a drink. That is a miracle for a bunch of alcoholics. (laughs) But I know they did it out of respect for Tom. They respected him that much. Amen. And for a bunch of people to respect him that really society doesn't respect them and they have wrote no respect for anybody either, that says something. That says God is doing a work. Oh, good story. He's doing a work that uh, to people that God loves mm-hmm. and that most people ignore and don't even want to see. And yet God sent Tom there and, and God has been willing and he's been humble and he's been obedient. And God has done a work, and he will continue doing a work out there. Thank you. Thank you you for sharing. And uh, now, uh, John and Dan's going to share a few more songs with us. Morning, everyone. Morning. I have to say something real quick about the Kiwi ministry, too, and about Pastor Tom and Carrie. Uh, we have been so blessed to be a part of that and to help with that. Uh, it's given me a completely new perspective, actually, and it's helped me to not be afraid. I would be afraid to spend that time with the, the people out there thinking, oh, you know, what if I get sick? What if I, you know, what if something, what if one of them is sick or something? When you go out there, you don't think about that. You just think about them. You just think about, I, I could be out here, you know. I had a good childhood and I came from a good background. I could be out there, uh, you know. I could easily have been out on the street for some of the decisions I've made in the past. And so it just gave me a great new perspective. I really glad we could be part of it. And we want to continue to be part of it. It's such a blessing. I don't know if you want to say anything. Uh, turn your mic on. Hello. Hello. Oh, grab the auto one. Yeah, that's the other one. Yeah. This is um, Andrew Carey, Pastor Tom. I know it's, for me, definitely a new perspective too. You know, we have our own personal lives and we go to work. And, um, and on top of that, you know, to be obedient to God's call and what He wants you know, to do in the community, it is a huge sacrifice because you think about it, it's your day, it's your Saturday, you know, and for you to have to get up at five in the morning to, you know, um, you really have to have love <coughs> for people and, and a call to do it because that's, that's huge. And I just admire the both of you for what you've done for just the past seven years. And just thank you for your love. And it did. You know, teach me a lot. Um, it is, you know, the shadowing with you guys and being able to see um, how to, you know, do it for in the future. We have to do that for people in the community. So just seeing you guys at first hand at work, it's, it's amazing. You guys have such huge hearts. We love you guys. Mm-hmm. Mom. Say a quick prayer and we'll do a uh, couple songs. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for all you've brought us through, all you've rescued us from. 
and just thank you that we now stand on solid rock, yeah. that we have uh, nothing to be afraid of, and that we can just walk in faith, grow in faith, and Lord Jesus, I just thank you for saving me, and I know all of us here today, anybody who calls on your name, Lord, is so grateful, and nothing compares to you, Lord, we love you, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We're going to do, are you washed in the blood? <coughs> Are you lost in the blood? So cleansing power of the Lamb, are oh, your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Spotless are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? White as snow, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? When the bridegroom cometh, will your robe be white? Pure and white in the blood of the Lamb. Will your souls be ready for the mansion's bright? And be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? In the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. White as snow, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside your garments that are stained with sin, and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed? Are you washed? In the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood? It's in the blood of the Lamb. Garments spotless are they white as snow? Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, Woo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we're going to do one more. He keeps me singing. I always like to say that the guy who wrote this, uh, Luther Bridges, that wrote this hymn, uh, this was written after he lost his family in a house fire. And so uh, it's a great song, to testimony to the faithfulness of God to bring us through even the darkest times. And the light will shine again in our lives if those times come, mm -hmm. as long as we have Christ. He keeps me singing.
Amen.
thing where Paige and Nancy Jamie from the office. Oh, there you are. You're hiding. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone else, I know. Um, if anyone else would like to share um, a word or two while we're getting ready, anyone else want to share? How has Pastor Tom? And Auntie Carrie and their ministry, how, how have you seen it being a blessing? Has it impacted your life? Anyone like to share? Well, I want to share something. Just no. I just want to say, love you guys, thank you. And just singing this last song, or even the song, the first song, Carrie, you have a beautiful voice. And I would hear you say, oh, that's Carrie's voice, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, I'll share. Um, I wanted to share that one of the coolest things when I first met Pastor Tom and Auntie Carrie was that they hadn't been here but like three months. Like they were brand new. And already Pastor Tom, I forgot where we met. I want to say maybe Windward or something. I can't remember where we first met. But, um, but I remember you had been here three months. And I was so impressed because he could already name every single person that they ministered to. And uh, like, that's a long stretch of beach. He knew everybody's name. And I think knowing people's name, how to pronounce them correctly, like you know somebody and they know you know them. And I think that, that was the first thing that spoke to me about them is this couple cares enough to know what your name is and your story and you're not, you're not wasting their time. You're not using up their time. They're giving it to you because they love you. And I, I love that about both of you. There's a lot more that I can say because I, I love you both and Oli loves you both. But, um, but that was the first thing that stuck out to me was um, you welcome people wholeheartedly and you do your best to remember everybody and you you that is so obvious when, um, like other people have said, that's so obvious when you go with you on your ministry, people know you, people know your love for them, and um, that speaks more to them than anything. So thank Hallelujah. You. All right. Okay. Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. Her to them to come forward a little bit. <laughs> Jamie, 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 come forward. Each other. <laughs> Hallelujah. The kilometers of love. Oh, we'll keep it going, church. We'll continue Jesus. to praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Mahalo, Lord. Mahalo for blessing us in so many ways, Lord. Oh. Mahalo for just blessing us with um, pastors, yes. servants. Oh, the gifts from you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, mahalo for pastor. Pastor Tom, oh, give to us. Even Auntie Carrie, give to us. Who can ask? Oh. Oh, and we reminisce, Lord. Oh, we give you praise, Lord, for them. Yes, Lord. We love you, Lord. We just continue to praise you. Oh, you're so good, Lord. Thank you for living in us. Heaven, your kingdom in us. Holy Spirit in us. So we love you. In Jesus' name. Yeah, All right, yeah. church. Keep praising him, man. Yes. Never stand. Heaven is in my heart. Yes. Better sing from the heart. 
to the Lord. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus.
the heart rock, our human hearts. Who but the Holy Spirit come, man? Who the Holy Spirit? He change our hearts, man. He change our hearts if we give Him our hearts. Yeah. Sometimes we don't like give Him our hearts, man. <laughs> but we will give Him our heart, bro. Yes. Who and then the Holy Spirit gonna change them, soften them, make them tender, make them full of light. Ooh, that's the only way any good come out of our mouth. Any good come out of our, our out of our actions. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Because the Holy Spirit, man. Who Holy Spirit, Mahalo. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, yes. Who for making us like Jesus? Mm -hmm. Yes, Abba. we love you, Lord. side in my life shining through me every day Lives of light, your love untamed is blazing out. The streets will glow forever bright. Your glory is breaking through the night. You will never fade away. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. Fade away. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. Wait within me, wait within me, you're in my heart forever. Wait within me, wait within me, you're in my heart forever. It's blazing out, the streets will glow forever bright. Your glory is breaking through the night. Never fade away. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. Wake within me, you're in my heart forever. Wake within me, wake within me, you're in my heart forever. Forever, forever, forever in your love. Forever, forever, forever. to stay by my side, shining through me every day. Your love is here to stay by my side in my life, shining through me every day. Wake within me, wake within me, you're in 
my heart forever. Wake within me, wake within me. You're in my heart forever. Forever, forever in your love. Forever, forever, forever in your love. Forever, forever, forever in your love. Forever, forever. God is good, church. All the time. Hey, let us pray for the offering. Oh, mahalo, Lord. For blessing us in so many ways. For providing for us all of our needs, Lord. So that we can seek your kingdom first. So that we can seek you, Jesus. Oh, Father, help us to get to the place where we can say with all of our hearts, I can do all things. Yes, Jesus. Through Jesus, Thank you, Lord. who strengthens me. Cool. Mahalo for showing us the truth, Lord. That we can live in little and in much. Yes. Because we live by every word that comes from your mouth, Father. But mahalo for giving us the food to eat, for sustaining our bodies, the water for drink. The places where we lay our heads, Lord, mahalo. All the things you provide us, Lord. That we may use to glorify you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Who, Lord? Come on, Who? Thank you. you are glorious, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Heaven is full of light. Praise you are holy fire. Raging. Nothing can put out your fire, Father. So bless this offering. Bless your people as we give. Help us to give cheerfully with joyful hearts. Oh, Lord. We cannot all give you, Lord. Yeah. We give. You give us more. <laughs> bless my brothers and sisters, Lord. Thank you for blessing us here at Pukanaz with all the things that we have, Lord. For this place, Lord. That we may serve and be with each other and worship together, seek you together here, Lord. Mahalo. So we love you. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Continue to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. So as we kind of rearrange a little bit, all right, so we're going to be rearranging a little bit. So while we are rearranging, I don't know how these cords always get so twisted. Hold on. Where's Jesus? One. game. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm coming back over there. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. I, I, think they, I think the cords have minds of their own and when we're not looking they just go like that. Oh yeah. I know. I know. We don't see it happen but it, it's like a net. I think we're making a cord net over here. Anyway. Um, while we're rearranging, I wanted to give everyone an opportunity one more time. I know we've had a few more people come in um, to share how has Pastor Tom or Auntie Carrie or their ministry, has it impacted you? Have you seen how their ministry has impacted others? So this is a great time to remind them that what you're doing matters and 
And I know it can be uncomfortable hearing compliments about yourself, but we just want to tell you how much we love you both. And we just want to give everyone an opportunity to share. And like we've said already, I know a few more people have come in. They're not going anywhere. They're still on Maui. But we just want to use this opportunity to remind them that we love you and what you do is important. So I've got maybe one or two more people. Anybody want to share? Yeah, Auntie Linda. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to praise the Lord for our sister Carrie and our brother Tom. I'm so grateful <clears throat> that you folks have taken up that, uh, that burden and that joy of the Kihei ministry. And... Um, I live very far away. Getting to Kihei is very difficult for me. But you are my hands and feet, the Lord's and mine. And um, you're doing what, what I can't do or I haven't been able to do, and a lot of us haven't been able to do. It's been a lonely ministry, I'm sure, in a sense, because you're out there by yourself, faithfully, every Saturday with your little cart and meeting your groups of people that are waiting for you and looking forward to you and you've impacted so many lives that we could never do and um and now you're going down to kahului to bless and love on this whole different little community down there and um i just want to say thank you mahalo mm -hmm. all right anyone else thank you Linda. okay mike um I've been blessed because uh, Tom's known me for over 50 years, and Carrie, I've known Carrie for 30 years. 33. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, You're counting. <laughs> and their son was the Paul, or excuse me, the uh, ring bearer. The Paul bearer. <laughs> Paul bearer. <laughs> and, uh, Freudian slip, huh? <laughs> okay, we drew you off. Now go ahead, Mike. Thank you, Pastor Tom. Thank you, Thank you for sharing. Um, so at this time, um, we had asked some of you to bring um, any lays or cards. And um, actually, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, sorry, I'm not following our list. Sorry. OK, just get those ready. Get those ready. I just was giving you an opportunity to get them ready. OK. <laughs> Um, so you can get those ready, and I'm going to share a few quick announcements coming up, and then um, we're going to have the next part of our service. So um, I just wanted to remind everyone of a few things. Um, our weekly ministries are getting back in track. We um, have started doing Recovery Church once again after the holidays. On Tuesdays at 6 p.m. we have dinner, and anyone is welcome as long as you're, you know, upper high school, young adult, or up, and um, you're welcome to that. Men's Bible study is actually going to start in two weeks, and it's going to be um, very special. They're going to do a men's steak night once again. Oh, Eric's back there. Woo-woo! <laughs> and um, please make some mean um, steaks and yeah, others that jump in on that. It's going to be $15, and that's, guys, yeah. I've never been there, but I've heard it's legendary, okay? I've heard that you get like two inch thick steaks, you get like potatoes and all the fixings. I don't know, it sounds magical, so you should come if you're a man. And you're welcome to come for $15. $15 is enough for not just that night, but I heard it's enough to like take home and eat for like the rest of your days. Not for men. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm looking around at the women. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, some of us women can eat from Texas, so we're used to grinding every day. No. Um, so if you've got $15, um, you can come see Pastor Mark, and he needs to ha have a head count. I think that's going to start February 3rd. And be in touch with Pastor Mark. Please tell him if you're coming, because if the weather's kind of crazy, like it has been the last couple of days, he's going to let you know that, you know, if it needs to be postponed. So don't miss the text. Don't show up in the rain looking all sad. Is men steak night tonight? No, it's not tonight. Okay, <laughs> so tell Pastor Mark if you're coming. And um, Friday nights, we've already started up our youth and cakey, as you know. If you need a ride, let me know. Um, this week will be, this coming week, um, Pastor Ollie and I will be off island 
But if you need a ride, text me or text Pastor Mark. We'll get you where you need to go. And um, Crossroads is on Sundays. As you know, young adults or early, I mean, uh, older high school. Well, no, any high school. Sorry. I'm getting all my groups mixed up. High college. school and college age. If you've got questions about your faith, if you just want to listen in on good discussions and um, good people, you can jump in on that. That's at 4 o'clock today. So you can come for that. Um, starting this week, it got postponed um, because of the crazy weather. It was seriously like flooding everywhere um, it's last week. So we decided to postpone our ladies painting Bible study till tomorrow night at 6 p.m. And it's going to be so cool. I know I've already talked about it, but I'm going to talk about it again because I think it's so cool. Every week, you're going to be, um, ladies, you're going to be painting one step of a painting and by the end of it it's about six weeks i think the plan is to have bible study for an hour and then an hour of one step of a painting so okay so if you don't want to come for a bible study don't come no, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we do want to stress it is a bible study we're going to be studying the i am statements of jesus mm -hmm. um and he is God, and we want to talk about that. Yes. And then if there's those that don't want to paint, we're still going to do like the first hour of a Bible study and the second hour of a... We'll just give you crayons in the corner, okay? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of fun. And it's about six It'll weeks? Six weeks. Six weeks. Okay, six weeks. starting tomorrow, don't miss the first one or you're going to be behind. Except I'm going to miss the first one. But you're you guys shouldn't behind. miss the first one. Private lesson. Oh, private lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We work in the same building, so it's like, I'll just be like, what did we do? instead of uh, sending my emails. Yes. Oh, I thought someone had a question. I'm trying to think if we have any other announcements. Our um, Compassion Ministries, we are gathering hygiene items. Um, we've got our box over there. If there's anything you'd like to donate to that, we are completely depleted because we have been giving to our community um, during all the different quarantines with Harbor Lights and other places. Um, so if you've got something to donate, doesn't even have to be hygiene items, um, please put it in the basket. It'll be there every week. Any other announcements? Can't think of any. Okay, so now, because I know you've gotten time to get your cards and lays ready, right? <laughs> so if you've got a card or a lay that you would like to share with um, Pastor Tom and Auntie Carrie, can I have you guys come up for a moment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you guys can actually stand behind the table. Or we're trying. Wear a mask. If you'd like to, yeah. yeah. Um, well, we're actually going to be COVID safe today right. about this, um, and it's not as fun as it usually is. So what we're going to ask everyone to do is please lay, <laughs> lay your lay, <laughs> um, place your lay in this basket here. And if you have a card, you can place it in this basket right here. Um, except I'm going to break the rule, and I'm going to actually give Pastor Tom and Ed to carry a lay on their neck but everyone else would you please just put your lay here we're trying not to do a lot of close contact but this is a way to show our appreciation and just um, remind them that again we love them I think they know that by now right <laughs> but um, but we just always want to keep showing that love it's as a pastor and the pastor spouse it is so easy to forget that that you know we're serving a body that loves us and we're you know just follow, trying to follow what god wants us to do it's not always easy even though we're called to do it full time um the few of us and um it's easy to forget it's easy to forget that joy and so i just invite you today to please um remind them of how much they are loved how much they are appreciated and um just encourage them for their next step all right so if you've got a lay or a card, please um, keep your distance from each other. You're welcome to place your lay in the basket and the card in the box here. and you'd like to share it, you're welcome to come up.
As you all have heard, they're mo they are, well, they are moving to Kahului. They are serving as the interim pastors at Kahului Nas, and um, we're excited to see what God has for them in that next chapter. And now I'm going to thank you guys so much for coming up and um, letting us love on you. And um, I want to put these on. Please ooh, do. Sure. Okay, so fun. Sure. <laughs> And I'm gonna let Pastor Tom take the mic. He's gonna share um, one more sermonette with us um, before they head to Kahului. <laughs> Those are so pretty. Wow. <laughs> are they even? <laughs> Pastor Tom, you got me. No, I just got more. Hmm. <laughs> Don't fight over. All right. Well, well, um, I need to begin by um, just saying thank you. We have been so blessed and so overwhelmed by your faithfulness and God's faithfulness to our ministry. You can ask Pastor Mark, there have been so many times when um, we've been going to turn in receipts or something and, and um, I'll say to him, I need to know, I need to see a copy of the financial, um, the bank statement because in my mind, I'm thinking, we get, we have to have run out of money by now. <laughs> and every time I'm overwhelmed when when he sends me a picture and I'm thinking, where did, where does that come from? I know where it comes from, the faithfulness of God's people. And Pukanaz has been um, such a great partner in our ministry, sponsor in our ministry, walking side by side with us, as Auntie Linda put it. Um, we represent this body. We represent the body of Christ when we go out. And um, <clears throat> I was trying to think, what what do I say? I was thinking back seven and a half, maybe eight years ago, when we first came to Pucanaz. We came here on vacation, stayed with Pastor Mark and Lori, and they graciously took us all over the island. And then... Um, the church asked would, would I share on Sunday and um, and I just remember having a great time of worship I remember um, preaching and um, that led to a revival the next year we got invited back and God laid Kihei on our hearts and Maui on our hearts and um, gave us an opportunity to leave behind the work that we've been doing for 10 years in Montana and come here. And this is not the end of our work in Kihei or the end of our work on Maui. This is just another step. It's a, it's a little bit of a twist and a little bit of a change. We met yesterday um, with one of the board members, um, John Smith from Kahului, and he said one thing we want to do is get involved in supporting the PA ministry and uh, we want to come out and be oh, part amen. of what <coughs> you're doing on the streets and that was that was good news to my heart because we have a congregation there we have a body um, this week I'd like to take a moment if we could and pray for um, one of our families out there um, Auntie Chat some of you know her um, it, she, Auntie Chad of the park. That's how she introduced herself to us about seven years ago. And um, yep. and she's been a presence down there 
and we've walked with her and her 28 year, year old son Colo passed away from brain cancer this week mm -hmm. and so the whole just like here that body wherever we went whatever park we went to yesterday they were grieving mm -hmm. they were hurting they were full of questions someone said how could God take him and leave some of these people out here <laughs> and I, I don't know and I tried to explain and I got to pray with a lot of people and I tried to explain to them we live in a fallen world and and what we need to do is grab hold of God it's okay to ask questions but we got to grab him he's the source of our strength Amen. and and we got a chance to share about a God who's faithful who will walk with us through deep waters and um, and we got to pray with people that God would become apparent and his power would be evident in their lives during this time. And so I'd just like for us to have a, a prayer this morning. Mm -hmm. Let's bow our heads and our hearts. Jesus. Father, we love you. We thank you for Auntie Chat. We thank you for Colo. We thank you for our friends and our family in Kihei. We pray, Father, that you'd be with them today, that your joy would be made complete in this time of sorrow, that your love would be poured out in their hearts, that they would sense that there is a God who cares and who walks with them during these times. More than ever, God, you can take, you can take the negatives and make them into positives. We believe that. And we thank you for the, your faithfulness, your goodness, Whenever we ask you, Lord, be lifted up, you are. Whenever we ask you, Lord, just help people to notice who you are and that you are who you say you are. You're so faithful. Thank you so much for that. Lord, we ask that you would wrap your arms around this family that's suffering, the extended family, all of the Ohana down there. I pray, Father, that you would draw them near and that, Father, they would feel that you care because we know you do. Thank you, Lord. We place them in your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus. amen. amen. Well, Pastor Mark asked if I would share a few words. Um, then when I got my schedule, it said sermonette. I'm not very good at sermonette. Uh, I'm a pastor, so. I, I will... Uh, I want to. I just want to say. Also, I know there are a lot of people online that that are partners with our ministry. Um, they're faithful to watching our services online, and I'm so grateful for all the prayers and all the support that we've received. And and pray that we continue to support that outreach, that ministry, and and any other opportunities for outreach on our island. So I'm I'm excited um, to see what God's going to do. Not just um, here at Pukanaz, not just at Kahului Naz, not just at Kihei, but all over our island. I believe God is a big God, Amen. and He is able yes. to reach people. We have we live in a time of of doubt and fear, and and so my prayer is always God take away our fear and replace Amen. that with the sense of of trust that You are in control. God sits on the throne. Amen. We might look around. We we put too much stock in what's happening in this world. Mm -hmm. We need to keep our eyes on the fact Thank that God Jesus. is eternal yes, and God Lord. is able. Yes, Jesus. And and the thing that we need to focus on, I've been called in the last well during this month um, to pray through 1 Corinthians 13. God just led me to that. I've been posting on Facebook um, portions of that as God has brought that to the forefront. Each day I, I read and I pray. And so I, I want to read that. And um, this is in the English Standard Version. Um, I know there's a lot of different versions, but um, I just like the way that it says it. And it still gets the message across. 1 Corinthians 13, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and knowledge, and if I have all faith, 
as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, and love is kind, or and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. Then I shall know fully. Sorry, even as I've been fully known. So now faith hope and love abide these three but the greatest of these is love and I just want to um, one thing that God has led me to emphasize and to speak over our people at Kihei this year has been that God is who he says he is and that he desires to reveal that to the hearts of men especially lost men and women <laughs> When I look at this passage of scripture, <clears throat> the Apostle Paul begins, it's, a, it's really a great um, outline for Christian living, for our commitment to Christ. We can't have the kind of love he speaks of here unless we have the Holy Spirit abiding in us, unless we invite him to come in. And then we can become a participant in his redeeming work when he abides in us, as he works through us. So it's all about surrender. It's Amen. about embracing his goodness and his love and his mercy. He begins by saying, I can do all kinds of things. I can have all kinds of gifts, all kinds of abilities. I can, I can um, work hard. That could be my gift, a work ethic. And a lot of us have been taught that. A lot of us have been taught what we should and shouldn't do and what should be our priorities but priority number one, according to the apostle, is this. We can do all those things, but if we don't love people, what does it mean to love people? That means to walk with them. It means to walk with them through dark places, to walk with them through dirty places, to get our hands dirty. The kind of love that he's talking about means going into places that we're not always going to be comfortable. We've heard some examples we've walked into some situations where we've seen a lot of ungodly behavior but we've also seen as the time has gone by and we've established relationships we've I've experienced having someone jab their elbow into the person next to them at a picnic table and say don't say that pastor's here don't do that pastor's here I hope and pray that what they're really saying is don't do that because the presence of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Wherever we go, that's our prayer. Amen. We don't have any, um, we're, we're not greatly gifted in the area of compassionate works other than we try to let Jesus shine through us. We just Amen. try to be a reflection. And to do that, we have to remove the things that get in the way of the light. A lot of times we carry things with us that keep us from being a beacon of light. And God wants us to be a beacon of light, a reflector of his love. The apostle does such a great job because he, he lists all these things that we would hold up and say, these are amazing gifts that people have. And then he says, but that, that doesn't mean a thing unless you love people. What does it mean to love people? He's talking about accepting them where they are just like god does isn't it amazing isn't god a good god that that he can just um or willingly will come into a dark place 
to lead us out. He doesn't stand far off. Even though he's our beacon and he's always out there, he doesn't always, He doesn't just leave us to try to find our way as we wander through life. Amen. He comes and he meets us. He pursues us and draws us to himself. And he's called us to do the same. And so um, I hope this isn't the last time that I speak to <laughs> the people of Pukanaz, but but if it were, that would be the message I would want to convey. God wants you to be his hands and feet. He wants you to be the ones who go into those places. The ones who feel mm -hmm. uncomfortable. I grew up in a home where we kept the rules. Um, when it came to alcohol, when it came to all the things that we could list, I don't do this, don't do that, right? We all have a list, some kind of a list. And, and um, my parents were teetotalers, and I remember the first time I saw a teacher buying um, alcohol at the store, and I was, I thought I was, the earth was going to open up and swallow him, and which was really naive and really foolish because it, it, that had become such a huge thing. But that's the kind of background that I came from, and and um, so to go into a place where people are um, inebriated, people are high, people are smoking. Um, all kinds of things, um, sometimes prescription medications that they have stolen. Um, to go into those places and speak the name of Jesus, not always comfortable, and it's not something that Carrie or I, either one, would have chosen or would have um, ever been able to do without having the presence of God's Holy Spirit within us. It's Amen. Him who comes in and transforms us. The apostle talks about that, but then he goes on and he tells us what is love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Amen. Love does not envy or boast. It's not arrogant or rude. One of the things that people tell us as we walk the beaches is you guys just come every week. You love us. You don't put us down. You don't make us feel like less. That's not us. That's not natural for men. That's God doing a work in our heart, allowing us to be something that we aren't in our own strength. We can't be in our own strength. And so we have to embrace him and we have to surrender. <coughs> um, love, he tells us what love is and what love is not. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes we forget that. We, we define love as all positive things but there are things love is not love is not impatient and love is not unkind and love does not boast and love um, does not envy and is not arrogant um, it's not irritable or resentful now i gotta tell you I, I have to confess that i don't live up to that all the time sometimes i'm irritable <laughs> sometimes I'm discontented in things. Sometimes I resent. I've shared with you about the first early on about my encounter with Mitch. And that day I was resentful of the fact that I was out there by myself. My wife had to work. Nobody came with me. And I was complaining to God. And guess what? God ordained a meeting with someone that made a big difference. I, I believe eternal difference. And I couldn't foresee that, but I can look back and see that. And now that helps me not to be resentful, not to be griping and complaining to yeah. God about what it is um, that he calls me to do and where he takes me. We know that um, love bears all things means that we walk with people. We bear their burden. Yesterday, as we walked, we felt the burden of brokenheartedness, of loss, of pain over a 28-year-old young man who was gone far too early, far too soon. Someone we had prayed with, someone we had walked with many, many Saturdays. And I trust, I, I believe, um, at least 
I hope, my hope, is that the seeds that we were able to plant took root. And that when it came time for him to meet God face to face, he was ready. That his day um, ended in a much better way than any day since he was born as he met Jesus. Face Amen. Face. And all we can do is plant seeds, put our trust in God, and hope that he brings growth out of that. That's all we can do. He just called us to be faithful. I shared earlier, I'm grateful for the faithfulness of this congregation. I'm grateful for the faithfulness of everyone who has sown into our ministry. And and some of you have given donations, um, um, clothing, blankets, medical supplies. Nancy Linda, we got a bo big box. Um, thank you. And, and, um, and um, we just are so grateful for that and we're all part of planting seeds for Jesus and Amen. and I believe and I hope my hope is in him that he is faithful and that my prayer that he is who he says he is would always come true and that it would become so apparent that even the loudest naysayers even the guy who thinks the aliens are coming to get us would see through all of his delusion and see that God is a good God and that he loves us that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life what's it mean to believe just what the apostle Paul is saying in 1 Corinthians 13 to believe Amen. is to embrace God's love and to surrender to his will and be his hands and his feet and his voice God is good he is who he says he is and he has a plan to reach all the lost souls and he has a heart that desires to reach all the lost souls not just on Maui but wherever we live and we should look for every reason every opportunity in season and out of season to share the reason for the hope that lies within us that Jesus Christ died for our sins and rose again and we share in that resurrection. God bless you, you and Jesus. keep you. And thank you again for the opportunities that we've had. Um, not just in Kihei, but we've been a part of this body. And um, we are so grateful. I'm so, um, it's been so exciting to walk with Pastor Mark, um, to see growth in people's lives. But, you know, he's my little brother. He was a kind of, he talked about our older brother. I, I'm not going to tell stories about him, but no, he's no, told you man. enough. He's told you enough. But it's been so amazing <coughs> to see the transformation that God has made in his life mm -hmm. over the years and to see him mature as a pastor and, and embrace that role and, and the joy that he gets from walking with you and doing life with you. Um, let's keep our eyes focused on the one who gives us a reason to hope. Let's Amen. keep our eyes open around us for opportunities to share that message with the world that desperately needs it. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We praise you because you're worthy of praise. <laughs> we can't express how amazing your love is. We can't even live up to the name that we carry because we're human. But we can have a right heart and the intent of our heart can be correct if we surrender every day to you. So God, help us. Your Lord, we're not. Come and lead us, guide us. Every step, everything we do, remind us that we live we don't just believe in something blindly, but we live out our faith before you and before the world so that you might be lifted up. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
Oh, praise the Lord. So we're going to um, end with the youth band action. Mahalo, Pastor. Oh, oh no word, Pastor. Oh. oh, I just thank the Lord, you know, that you can see the love that Pastor Tom talked about to, to you, Pastor. And I think the love you guys show, you know what I mean? That, that show us that the word is alive. Man. You know what I mean? Because we can speak them, but no mean nothing if it's not seen. Yeah, and we see them in you guys. So we will keep worshiping the love. Ooh. Just keep praising Him. Oh my 
greatest songs I'll sing for you. All my songs I'll sing for you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let my life be to you a symphony, singing out holy. You are holy. All my days, every single breath I breathe, singing out holy. somebody to give us musubi and water. Amen. For sending somebody to us for just love us. Even when we never love you, Lord. Mahalo for sending somebody to give one ear to us. A listening ear. A caring heart. That we may see you, Lord. Ooh, mahalo, Lord. Mahalo for doing that for us and bringing us to you where we stand now on solid rock. Where we live now in everlasting love. And Lord, lead us into the world to be the listening ears, to be a caring heart, to be one doorway, Lord, for you for speak through us. To love through us, shine through us, Lord. Ooh, you are so good. Mahalo, Lord. Mahalo. You're making a way for us. I worship you, 
I worship you. You are here, Lord. You, you are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, mending every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. One time, way maker. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are.
this who you are, Lord. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Who we worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 Mahalo, Lord. Mahalo. You're not going to ever change, Lord. Thank you. Mahalo, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, church. God is good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pastor Tom, if you like, come up, and Eddie, if you guys like, come up, and church, we go raise our hands up, reach them out, and we go pray for Pastor Tom there. With all of our hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Oh, mahalo, Jesus. Mahalo, Father, for being the one who saves us. And uh, when you save us, Father, inviting us to work with you in reconciliation of this world. Oh, Father, mahalo for calling us your children, yeah. for bearing witness to our spirit that we are your children. That, Father, fills us with so much hope, fills us with so much freedom, fills us with so much love, <coughs> love that endures all things, love that serves love that lays down one's life this kind of love father only come from you father and you've poured and showered that love in all of our hearts as we believe and you've showered and poured your love in pastor tomden's heart in auntie carrie's heart lord your love is their hearts, their hearts is wrapped in your love. Their mind is set on you. Mahalo, Lord. Mahalo for being Pastor Tom and Auntie Carrie's sustainer. Their strength, Lord. Mahalo for being there for them, for being near, never far, and for constantly speaking to them to their spirit constantly speaking these words that we read in the scriptures Lord I will be with you always Father help Pastor Tom them give them strength in their spirit strength in their hearts to continue to trust you and as they trust you Lord Continue to help them to hear your still small voice, Lord. Bless Kahului Naz and all the people there during this time. Use Pastor Tom and Auntie Carrie 
to be a blessing, to bring your love, your truth. Lord, we just thank you so much. Help us, Lord, Pukonas, to continue to be there for Pastor and Auntie and support and pray and always pray for them, Lord. Always show our love to them. Help us to have them on our minds always. To love them. To see how we can serve, Lord, and help them. But bless Pastor Tom and Auntie Carrie. Use them in a mighty way, Lord. Mahalo so much, Lord, for blessing us. Mahalo that they still going to be on Maui. <laughs> but we can be with each other still. But we always with each other. Through your spirit, Lord. So we love you, Lord. Oh, you're so awesome. You're so good. Help your word, 1 Corinthians 13, Lord, be true in our lives. Help it continue to be true. Let it be. Let it be true. Continue. Continuously, Lord, true Pastor Tom and Auntie. Your love, Lord. So we love you. We thank you. We give you all the glory. You are worthy of it all, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are an awesome God. Yes, there is no yes. God like you. That's right. thank we you. serve an awesome God. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hey, hallelujah. All right, church. So, um, God bless you guys. Grace and peace. Oh, we're going to pray. Oh, we get our grinds out. Huh? We're going <laughs> to, we get our grinds out right now. So, um, we can get things ready. Um, let me pray for that one quick one. Ooh, mahalo for the food, mahalo for yes, just Lord. letting us continue to worship you through yes, our Lord. conversations, our fellowship, Lord. Bless this time. Let everybody be encouraged in every way. Let no, let us not leave without being encouraged. Let every word coming out of our mouth be encouraging and full of grace. Bless this food. Continue to be lifted high, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, church. Grace and peace to you guys.